Cervical decompression is one of the most important things that we can do for the neck, actually all the joints in the body. Before you do any kind of movement with joints, ligaments, muscles, and everything like that, try to get a decompressive force through there. Cervical spine, particularly, got to get it decompressed. This is one of the mo most interesting and effective ways to do that. Get your body way low, way low again, get down there. Now, I'm going to slide under Everin's neck with my palm up. So I slide under, way under, and here's the trick to making this thing work. Get way under. Let your elbow almost touch the side of their neck because you have that flexor fascia of your forearm to work with now. So I'm way in here and it looks a little awkward, but I feel comfortable in this position. Put my left hand on her forehead and I'm going to pronate my entire arm, not just my hand, I'm going to pronate my entire arm, and when I do, notice what my body does, I'm going to drive off my right foot to my left to decompress her cervical spine. Here, let's go. She can tell you this feels really good, doesn't it? <laughs> See how powerful that is? Look at this palm on the head. So now you've got all these forces. You've got your body weight leaning this way. You've got the palm here. You've got the forehead grabbing it here. Love this. And to make it more interesting, you side bend the head toward you. Now what are you doing? Working more on this side, right? Decompressing one side now, right? Upper traps, levator scapula, where do they attach? C1, 2, 3, sometimes C4. Got to get those attachments loose. Here we go. Pronate and decompress. Rocky rolly back and forth. Back to neutral. Left side bending to work the right side. Here we go. Same thing. Decompress. Decompress, one more time, and decompress. Slowly take your hand out, back to neutral, head of the table, hand decompression. I do this all the time. The second of the decompression techniques that we're going to show right now is with a pillowcase. So I'm going to bring this pillowcase in right now, do a little fold job right there, ask Everin to pick her head up, and I'm going to put it right about mid-neck. Doesn't matter where you are, approximately mid-neck, because why? We're trying to maintain cervical lordosis, get that spine moving. I'm going to come in, and this is a little bit novel. You want to put your thumbs on their third eye, right, between, right above their, their eyes here on their forehead. And then you get your body weight comfortable, drop your body weight back, do just a little bit of light compression. Don't be pulling or jerking or anything like that. Just really light. Drop your body weight back to barrier. You'll feel that barrier. And then I'm going to ask Everin to gently shrug her shoulders toward her ears. Shrug up. Two, perfect. Three, four, Five and relax. When she relaxes, I drop my body weight back just a little bit. Shrug again. Two, three, four, five and relax. Drop my body weight back three times. One more time. Two, three, four, five and relax. It's really getting those upper attachments for levator scapula, splenius services. Okay, so another way that I like to, uh, to do this technique is to fold the towel around, or the pillowcase around. Towels are too thick. I used to use it the towel, but I use a towel. Pillowcases are perfect. So you come in like this, and you got to make sure that it's okay with your client patient on the table. Ask him, is it okay if I wrap this thing around your neck? I'm not going to be strangling you or anything like that. All I'm going to be doing is a decompression technique. It's going to feel really good. Oh, yes, Eric, please do that. So then I get down and drop my body weight. Look how I have my hands. And now my, the pressure is more at the, around the suboccipitals. 
Getting a whole different kind of release this time. So now I'm going to drop my body weight back. Shrug, two, shrug it up. Two, three, four, perfect. Five, and relax. Jiggle it. Shrug, two, three, four, five, and relax. Don't forget this way. Both of them, both, both of those are excellent. You can also use side bending. If you want to do the same thing, up to you. You can go to the side, do the same thing. Just depends on how much decompression they need. You can tell. Okay, here's a tool that I use a lot in practice. It's the same thing, does the same exact thing, except it's just a little bit more uh, comfortable and you get a little bit better decompression technique. I just want to show you this, just because I want to show you this. Pick your head up, please. Okay, so this comes in and down, comfortably up again, right in there, right around there. So now I've got a mechanical advantage here, right? I mean, I don't have to do much. I can hold one hand here and do this. Now I just want you to shrug, shrug up, pull them up, pull those shoulders up towards your ears. Two, three, four, five, and down, relax. And just pull again, two, perfect, three, four, Five and relax, and just give it a little pull. How do you like that one? I like it. Woo! So, try those three uh, decompression techniques. They are fabulous, and you've got to do decompression on every one of your client patients that come in.